structure of human sperm sperm is a specialized haploid male gamete or male sex cell it is produced in seminiferous tubules of testis through a process called spermatogenesis sperm carries the characters from father or paternal characters human sperm has recorded lowest number of mitochondria that is 12 pairs 24 mitochondria the lifespan of sperm is generally 24 to 48 hours and if you take the size of the sperm it is smaller compared to the ovum but lengthwise it is long elongated measuring about 59 to 60 microns that is the approximate length of the, uh, the sperm if you take the shape of the sperm sperm is a, generally it is in the form of tadpole like larva and it is not covered or protected by any sort of envelopes unlike ovum it is generally protected by just only the plasma membrane whereas the sperm is generally active it is motile and migratory unlike the ovum now since i already mentioned sperm is elongated tadpole like structure and it is divided into three parts one is called head piece this is called head piece of the sperm head piece second part is called middle piece middle piece middle piece on the last part of the sperm that is called tail piece these are the three parts of what called human sperm now head piece is generally triangular in shape bounded by an outer limiting membrane this is called plasma membrane plasma membrane this is nothing but a cell membrane it is the outermost uh, protective covering of the head piece the head piece is produced in front in the form of a conical projection this conical projection is called acrosome this acrosome is derived from acrosome is derived from golgi complex and it encloses lytic enzymes or acrolysis that helps in dissolving of egg membrane for easy penetration of the sperm into ovum where the head piece is most important part and is the genetical part of the sperm because it contains the male nucleus that is male nucleus it is larger okay male nucleus and with a narrow rim of cytoplasm the cytoplasm is very very less scanty cytoplasm cytoplasm now in front the nucleus is generally protected by the pre nuclear sheath of cytoplasm this pre nuclear sheath of cytoplasm is called galea capitis is called galea capitis it is in the form of cap like structure to the nucleus hence it is called galea capitis and the post nuclear sheath of cytoplasm is called manchetti this is called manchetti so this is about the uh, structure of what called as head piece of this one and the genetical part because it contains nucleus the head piece is separated from middle piece by means of a short constriction this constriction is called neck the constriction is called neck near the neck region there are two centrioles are there one of the centriole that is called proximal centriole proximal centriole and this proximal centriole plays a very important role in fertilization that is in amphimixis amphimixis that is mixing of the components of the sperm and ovum leading to fertilization that is the function of proximal centriole where the another centriole is called distal centriole distal centriole centriole helps in the formation of the tail piece of the sperm this is about neck region the 
broadest part of the sperm is called middle piece middle piece is also called as engine room it is also called as engine room engine room because it generates energy for the motility of the sperm and around the what called is the central axis there is a prince of it is called as mitochondrial complex this mitochondrial mitochondrial complex or mitochondrial sheath is called is called nebenkern named of the scientist nebenkern nebenkern the what is what is nebenkern means the mitochondrial sheath the mitochondrial complex is called nebenkern there are about 12 pairs of mitochondria around arranged spirally around the central axis and this central axis is called axoneme this is called axoneme or axoneme or central axis central axis and this central axis it arises from what is called the distal centriole so that means distal central plays a role in the formation of flagella or the tailpiece and in some cases there is prince of one more centriole that is called ring centriole ring centriole is present in between ring centriole is present in between the middle piece as well as the tail piece and probably this is the modification of distal centriole only two centrioles proximal and distal but uh, since it is present between the tail piece as well as the middle piece it indicates that distal centriole is responsible for the secretion of tail piece so that is about what called the middle piece and it generates energy for the motility of the sperm since it contains mitochondria the longest part of the sperm is called tail piece and this consists of central axoneme or central axis surrounded by the plasma membrane so this is also again continuation with the head, head piece plasma membrane entire sperm is covered by plasma membrane the part of the tail piece without the part of tail piece without plasma membrane is is called end piece is called end piece this is about the structure of what is called the sperm i have already mentioned the types of sperms based on the presence of absence of the uh, tail or flagella sperm with flagella is called flagellated sperm example human sperm and sperm without flagella is called a flagellated sperm example ascaris lumbricoides similarly based on the composition of chromosomes sperms are classified into two types that is one sperm with x chromosome is called gynosperm and sperm with y chromosome is called androsperm so this is about the structure of what called as human sperm now let us study that is nothing but human sperm so structure of human sperm structure of human sperm so first definition what is a sperm sperm is a sperm is a specialized sperm is a specialized haploid specialized haploid male gamete male gamete or sex cell or male sex cell that is the definition for the human sperm and again sperm is produced in sperm is produced produced in seminiferous tubules seminiferous tubules of testes testes through through spermatogenesis through spermatogenesis and again sperm carries sperm carries carries paternal characters paternal characters characters or or characters from father characters from father characters from father and again human sperm human sperm has recorded human sperm has recorded recorded lowest number of recorded lowest number of mitochondria number of mitochondria that is approximately 12 pairs 
approximately 12 pairs that is 24 mitochondria whereas human sperm lifespan sperms human sperms lifespan is lifespan is 24 to 48 hours for 28 to 48 and it is it is smaller smaller in size in size compared to ovum compared to ovum it is smaller in size compared to ovum and it is not it is not protected by protected by any protected by any envelopes envelopes except any envelopes except plasma membrane except plasma membrane plasma membrane and again and uh, now the human sperm human sperm sperm is elongated elongated and tadpole like elongated and tadpole like in structure in structure divided into divided into three parts three parts they are they are head piece head piece middle piece middle piece and tail piece these are the three parts of it called as uh, the human sperm okay so specialized haploid male gamete or sex cell produced in seminiferous tubules through spermatogenesis carries paternal characters that is characters from father recorded lowest number of mitochondria only 12 pairs lifespan is short 24 to 40 out it is smaller in size compared to bobum measuring 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 59 to 60 microns microns in length in length it is not protected by any envelopes except plasma membrane human sperm is elongated tadpole like structure and divided into three parts their head piece middle piece and tail piece now it is it is triangular triangular in shape and most important important genetical part of genetical part of sperm because it contain nucleus it contain nucleus the head piece head piece is covered by plasma membrane plasma membrane enclosing enclosing cytoplasm cytoplasm and larger larger male nucleus male nucleus the pre nuclear the pre nuclear sheath of cytoplasm cytoplasm is called is called galia capitis galia capitis and post nuclear post nuclear sheath of cytoplasm sheath of cytoplasm is called manchetti is called manchetti the head piece is produced head piece is produced produced in front produced in front in the form of in the form of conical projection conical projection called 
ஆக்ரோசோம் ஆக்ரோசோம் கண்டெய்னிங் ஆக்ரோசோம் டிரைவ் ஃப்ரம் டிரைவ் ஃப்ரம் கால்கி காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் கால்கி காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் அண்ட் இட் என்க்ளோஸ் என்க்ளோஸ் லைட்டிக் என்சைம்ஸ் லைட்டிக் என்சைம்ஸ் for dissolving of egg membrane dissolving of egg membrane membrane for easy penetration easy penetration so that is about the head piece triangular in shape bounded by plasma membrane it is important genetical part because it contains nucleus and it is generally covered by plasma membrane enclosing cytoplasm and larger male nucleus the pre nuclear sheath of cytoplasm is called galea capitis and the post nuclear sheath of cytoplasm is called manchetti with the head piece is produced in front in the form of a conical projection called acrosome derived from golgi complex and it enclose lytic enzymes for dissolving of egg membranes for easy penetration and that is about the head piece the head piece the head piece is separated from separated from middle piece middle piece by a short constriction short constriction called called neck near the neck region near the neck region two centrioles are present are present one that is called proximal centriole proximal centriole in head piece helps in helps in amphimixis amphimixis and second one distal centriole distal centriole that is in middle piece helps in helps in formation of formation of tail that is about the neck region middle piece middle piece it is broadest part of sperm broadest part of sperm also called also called as engine room engine room because it generates generates energy energy for motility of sperm motility of sperm middle piece enclose 12 pairs of pairs of mitochondria mitochondria arranged arranged spirally arranged spirally around central nucleus around central axis central axis forming forming mitochondrial complex mitochondrial complex the mitochondrial complex the mitochondrial complex is called is called nebenkern nebenkern named after the scientist that is about middle piece of the sperm and the next is the tail piece it is longest part of the sperm longest part of the sperm 
sperm consisting of consisting of central central axis and plasma membrane the part of the part of tailpiece without plasma membrane without plasma membrane is called end piece end piece tail helps in movement of sperm and hence sperm is sperm is active motile and migratory 